Welcome back children to our online classes once more. Today we are going to read this chapter The Making of a Scientist Lesson number 6 by Robert W. Peterson. It is in your book Footprints Without Feet. Now let us see what it takes to become a scientist. Richard E. Wright happened to be any other, like any other child, like you and me. And then he had lost his father at a very young age. He grew up in reading Pennsylvania. As he was growing up, he developed a passion for collecting butterflies. And he collected almost 25 varieties of butterflies in and around his neighborhood. His mother pampered him a lot. She bought him microscope, telescope, cameras and other mounting materials that Richard needed for his passion and learning. And now let us find out what else happened with him. Now as he grew up and seeing his interest in butterflies, his mother gifted him a book known as The Travel of the Munar. This book opened the world of science for him. In this book, it is clearly described why and how monarch butterflies migrate to Central America. And this book opened the world of science for Richard. At the end of this book, you know, there was a tag asked from the readers to tag butterflies. Tag to tag butterflies or to attach butterflies that were required for the research by Dr. Frederick Burkuhar of the University of Toronto, Canada. So it was asked to tag the butterflies by the readers. For several years, Richard's basement became the home, became the home for monarch butterflies. It became the home for monarch butterflies where he used to collect the female butterflies, the female monarch and then he used to take their eggs and then develop them from that egg to the adult butterfly. From that egg of the female monarch butterfly in his basement, he used to develop it into adult butterfly. And then in the seventh grade, what happened? He entered a science fair exhibition. Science exhibition and in that exhibition he had put up his slides of frog tissues but then he was not able to qualify. And then what happens in the 8th grade in the 8th grade he did not give up even though he didn't get any kind of you know appreciation he didn't give up but in the 8th grade he started to find out the cause of viral disease of the monarch butterflies he wanted to find out the cause of viral disease of monarch butterflies that because of this disease Many monarch butterflies were killed every year. So Richard took it up as his project. And then he didn't get again any 
real result. This also went without any appreciation. After that, Richard did not stop. He wanted to carry on and he found out why he found out why viceroy butterflies copy monarch butterflies. He wanted to find out why the viceroy butterflies copy the monarchs. He found that viceroy butterflies copy the monarchs because they were they are uh, sorry they are very tasty to the birds so monarchs are not that tasty to the birds so viceroy butterflies they copy the monarch butterflies to become less tasty to the birds and what happened this uh, project it got a big appreciation in that county science fair and he won the first place he won the first place in zoology department and he also got the third position the third position a the county fair in the county fair and he got an entry into the international science and engineering fair he got an entry into the science and engineering fair with this project. After that, he started with his research. He started with his research of an unknown insect hormone. Insect hormone. He started with his research on that and it indirectly brought him to the discovery of cell life. To the discovery of cell life and he landed up on his new theory on the life of cells. Now he also found out with this unknown insect hormone, what was this question? What was the actual topic? He wanted to find out why there were 12 gold spots on the wings of the monarch butterflies. It was not a simple decoration children. There was a reason. There is a reason of the 12 gold spots found on every monarch butterfly. And what is that reason? The reason is the 12 gold spots produce a hormone that helps in developing the butterfly from the baby, baby stage to the adult stage. It helps in developing that butterfly, the monarch butterfly from the baby stage to the adult stage. And with this discovery, it gave him entry into the International Science and Engineering Fair. It gave him an entry. He also got a chance to work in the Army Laboratory and also at the laboratory of the U.S. Department of Agriculture. You know, at the end of the chapter, you will find that his social science teacher said that Richard wasn't interested in winning. He was just interested in doing his best and that brought him to his winning mark. So always understand in the making of a genius, in the making of a scientist, in the making of a merit, you always need to 
Be at your best. Do not think of winning all the time. Win will always come to you. It will automatically come to you if you can give it your best. So that is one of the ingredients that we have learned from this chapter that we have to give our best in the making of anything better or the best. Right? So that is all for today. We are going to come up with assignment and if you have any doubts in the chapter, please connect back, read the chapter well. I have uh, explained the core points and play the lecture when you are reading the chapter. I believe you will be able to follow the chapter. Stay blessed, stay happy children.